Hi everyone, it's Lynn Smythe from The Creative Cottage. How y'all doing today? Um, this video, I'm going to be going over this uh, Goodwill Blue Box Mystery Jewelry Box 5 pound bundle. Um, I think it's shop, you know, bluebox.com. Hmm, I have to look that one up. Um, this one's coming from my Pretty much one of my local um, Goodwill stores in Lake Worth, Florida. I'm just a little ways down the road. Um, all the Florida Goodwills, at least the ones in my area that I've been to, have pulled all the jewelry out of the stores. Um, so the only way you can get jewelry anymore is online. Um, try not to show my address. Here's what where it's coming from, Goodwill Industries, Lake Worth, Florida. And they're calling this the Jewelry Repurpose Box Found, five pounds. Let's see, this is from Blue Box. Um, this is one of those mystery bundles where that picture is not what I'm getting. The picture is just saying you're gonna get five pounds of jewelry. Uh, looks like paid $44.99, shipping, tax, coming in at $55.63. This is probably going to be the last one of these I get. I've gotten these mystery five-pound boxes from American Thrift. That one was nothing but garbage. I've gotten them from the, uh, I think like the Miami Goodwills. Nothing but garbage. And this one, from what I'm seeing so far, I'm going to struggle to get my $55 back. <laughs> um, so the goal isn't just to make my money back. Um, you know, recently been laid off from my full-time position. So I was hoping to make a little bit of profit from this box. Um, I'm not sure. So I'm just going to go through everything real quickly. So this first thing would be necklace. Um... Most of the stuff I do, I'll put in bundles of like 20 to 30 pieces. I very rarely sell single pieces unless it's like, you know, sterling silver with gemstones or something really collectible. Um, I might just have to turn around and try and sell this whole, whole box and get my money back. I don't know. Uh, this is what I call Plastic Fantastic black acrylic wavy beads and silver tone plasticky beads it's very long it will fit over your head no class needed uh i'm just finding that these mystery boxes i'm just getting garbage this is the third or fourth one i've bought and they're all coming from different goodwills um what was i starting to say okay so the goodwills in my area i'm in southeast florida palm beach county you can't go into the Goodwill stores locally to find jewelry anymore. The only way I can get jewelry from my local Goodwills is to, like in this instance, this is the blue box coming from Lake Worth, Florida. You just can't walk into stores anymore. Uh, so I do get a lot of stuff from shopgoodwill.com. The online auctions, there's usually pictures of what you're going to get. Um, also Goodwill Finds, uh, which is buy it now. You can get pictures, but these mystery boxes, like we're just gonna pull five pounds of stuff. Yeah, so this is just like that other necklace, plastic fantastic, pink wavy beads. I mean, I don't think I can get very much money for something like this. So I might just um, pick through the stuff I need to, that, that's just totally trash, that's not even worth it for crafts or anything. I'll pick through that, get rid of that, and whatever's left maybe offer it at cost or a slight loss i don't know so let me know in the comments what do you do when you get a horrible 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 bundle um okay i see a tag on this oh made in china and do i have a maker's mark robert rose yeah robert rose never heard of him very plasticky acrylic faceted stones purple they're not glass very lightweight chunky silver tone ch chain very 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 dirty and worn um, 
Yeah, the condition of the stuff in this box is just horrible, horrible, horrible. It's junk, junk, junk. Um, more plastic, fantastic. This is all lightweight plastic. Black beads. It already looks like it's starting to fall apart. Kind of woven with thread. I guess it's like a choker. I mean, I wouldn't even sell that for crafts because it's plastic beads. Who wants to use plastic beads? If they were glass or gemstone, you know, I can see selling this. But I don't know. Not happy with this box. Um, this is junk. It's very worn. Missing its stone. Um, I can probably reuse the chain. Let's see. Now, no, I can't take it off easily. Well, let's have to see if I've got any kind of tool I could saw this off. And I see a maker's mark. Um, but when it's in horrible condition, does it really matter if it's signed or not? <laughs> Worthington, but in pretty rough condition. Um, I mean, I'll see if there's a loose stone at the bottom of this box, but look at this. The metal's all just worn, and I don't even think that it'll clean up. I just think it's worn, worn down. Multi-pack. Oh, wow. Did they even open this up? <laughs> Um, these I might do as free gifts. I'm not going to take them out of the package. I There's three of them. I don't usually like necklaces that have like any kind of fabric cord or ribbon cord or velvet or leather. It all gets kind of ooky and you can't really clean it. <laughs> but because these are new, I think these are like ceramic little kind of travel pendant so maybe I'll keep those aside and use these as free gifts with some other orders here's garbage I'm gonna do a garbage pile see how much I get this is plastic but it's broken I guess it was a choker totally useless and yeah I can start a, start a trash pile don't know if this piece is in there or not it's just a tag with no jewelry. So that's useless. Oh, not too many tangles. And I'm going to have to, I see a bunch of earrings, but I don't know if I have any matches or not. So I'm going to have to put them all aside and see. This one is actually cute. This is, uh, is this glass or acrylic? Nah, I think it's just acrylic. Wish that was glass. Just a acrylic faceted kind of orangey red beads, little wire loops on an antique gold chain. Again, oh, that one has a maker's mark. Uh, let's see. Claire's. Wow, yeah. Well, my daughter, who is now in her late 20s, she used to shop at Claire's. <laughs> Claire's is kind of a low budget costume jewelry um uh, you know when she was little like eight nine ten she would save up her allowance and we would go to the local mall and she would buy claire's jewelry so i don't think it's really collectible this is interesting looks like it's very lightweight it looks like um i just want to say paper mache or maybe the air dry clay and then they've painted it um, it's different, but it's kind of artsy, so I might be interested in that piece. Let's see if I got any earrings that will potentially match with it. Yeah, this whole bundle is going to be all plastic, fantastic. These are very cheap plastic beads. You can see the seam, you know, and, and very plasticky. You know, some plastic beads or acrylic beads, um, I don't mind if they look nice, but very cheap, almost Mardi Gras kind of effect. So 
again, I don't know. You don't really need any way to get your money back. <laughs> and mm, faux pearls that are twisted. You know, they need to be restrung. This is like wire. Not even Accuflex, just wire. Nice clasp. Mm, I'll say, is it sterling and gold filled? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Hmm. So not even glass pearls, just cheap plastic pearls. And, okay, I'll put the earrings aside off camera, and if I come across any matches, I'll, I'll show you. Here's a very oxidized cuff bracelet. Uh, no, I was going to say, is it sterling, maybe? No. Here's what it looks like. Oh, tons of these. So this is my third one of these. Remember, I showed you a black one and a kind of hot pink one. Same thing. Plastic wavy beads. Plastic silver beads. And it's long enough to go over your head. You know, there's, if there was some glass in here or some gemstones, then maybe you might be okay. But this really feels like a Mardi Gras lot. And I paid $55. So, really not happy. Not sure why they put a clasp on this. An ex extremely long seed bead necklace with a few larger bead, glass beads. But... Be like 80 inches. This is doubled and it's still extremely long, so I don't know why you would need a clasp. More plastic, more plastic, fantastic. Um, here's another plastic necklace, acrylic square beads, very dirty gold tone beads. At first, I thought this fit over your head, but come on, let's focus, camera. It's got a little screw clasp there made out of the same plastic, fantastic stuff. I mean, so far, no glass at all. It's all plastic. So, and here's another cuff bracelet. Interesting beads, but the silver tone um, bracelet base looks very worn and scratched and hmm, don't see any maker's mark. Here's what that looks like. You don't mind having a few um, pieces that have to go into scraps or get thrown out, but when it's your whole entire box. Here's a little bracelet, but um, kind of copper tone. I don't even think it's real metal. It's very bendy. A lot of rhinestones. More earrings. Uh, a little acrylic pendant. And the pinky peach and silver glitter on a silver tone necklace. Um, that's probably bone, so I'm not going to do anything with that. Um, I don't know if you saw one of my earlier videos. I mentioned. Um, I had a piece of jewelry that I had thought it had some bone in it, and I listed it as having bone in it. It got flagged and taken down right away by eBay, and I got an email from eBay, and I was like, oh, no. So, um, so far, I might be okay with shell and abalone, 
and pearls, but anything like bone or um, probably even horn, I'm just, yeah, staying away from it. Staying away, I don't want to get dinged again. Made in China. This is like a teacher's appreciation necklace, Mardi Gras color, very lightweight plastic, and it says, those who care, teach. It's cute, but again, it's plasticky and I like Mardi Gras beads. And very inexpensive plastic pearls. If they were glass pearls, that might be okay, but it's just like, again, when I call Mardi Gras beads, no class, just plain plastic pearls. That's how I go about marketing this. Cheap plastic bead box for sale. <laughs> Buy it now. And this is just like the blue necklace I showed you before. Plastic square beads, kind of worn out, dirty gold tone beads. And there's the clasp. Mm -hmm. Can you tell if it's Bakelite or not? I don't think so. I, it, I just think because of the clasp, the plastic barrel clasp beads might be more vintage. So I might do further research into these two. But everything else I've been showing you seems quite cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Um, here's a kind of leather bracelet like black leather bracelet with a metallic cross and I think it's got a prayer on here I can't see it writing it's too tiny let me take my loop out um oh mm, yeah looks like it's in Latin so I won't be reading that one to you <laughs> and yeah it's kind of ooky on the back but it's got one of those um you know slider clasps so yeah, that's probably going in the trash. It's just kind of nasty. So I don't like the porous materials, like the leather, the fabric, the cords, the ribbons. They get all kind of funky. And because they're porous material, it's not like glass, plastic, or metal where you could potentially clean it, sanitize it. Here's a stretchy cord bracelet made out of silver tone and black glass seed beads. Actually, looks like it's in okay shape and is wearable. And ooh, I wish this is turquoise and silver. That would make the box, but um, just silver tone metal. Probably uh, is that even dyed halite or is that acrylic? Mm, thinking it's acrylic. Cuff bracelet. Looks very tiny. Yeah. I can't get that on my wrist. Wrist isn't that big, but... Don't know. Tiny people. Mm. So, Peony. Um, this is one of those slide bracelets, and it's got all the different flags. In the different countries and mm, this is Opini. I'm guessing this is like stainless steel and that might be of interest to someone. Mm -hmm. yeah, I've got a bunch of earrings in this bundle but I don't think any of them are going to match up. Well, this one has a big old knot in it. Uh, this is just silver toe metal, and it's not even dyed gemstone. It's more um, acrylic, kind of like the bracelet I just showed you. Have a southwest feel. Okay, cat, you can behave. Let's say hello to everyone. Miss Shadow, hello. So we'll see. If she stays on the back of the chair there, she'll be okay. 
So if she tries to jump up on my desk or I'm filming, I'm about to kick her out. Uh, very lightweight, plasticky stretch bracelet. Trying to tell if this one is silver. My first halfway decent bracelet. This is a uh, glass faceted beads, kind of like a hematite color. And then that might be actual hematite, the round ones. And lobster clasp. Yeah, I just think that's um, gunmetal color. I don't think that's sterling. Bummer. Like we just give me one or two pieces of sterling so I can at least make my money back. There's <laughs> a cute little bracelet, just glass sea beads and a gold tone toggle clasp. Looks like it's in okay condition. Oh, might have my first pair of matching earrings. Oh, they're very bent out of shape. So kind of like a lightweight, like acrylic or lucite flowers. And then I think those three beads, the blue, yellow, blue, I think those might be glass. Those are almost okay. Put them on little earring display. And this is more wood, very long. Has a little spring ring clasp, but it doesn't need it. This is extremely long. You could double or triple this necklace. Inexpensive stretchy bracelet looks like shells and maybe clay and then maybe some glass seed beads um, Piece of garbage Some nasty cruddy um, Clip back earrings, but that looks gross. I don't think I could even begin to clean that up. It looks like it's all corroded so to me, that's garbage. I, mean, I wouldn't even want to offer stuff like that for sale, really. It's just like, ooh. Um, just plain turquoise color glass sea beads on stretch cord. Earrings. Earrings. Let's see. Here's a little rhinestone necklace. Let's see, are all the rhinestones here? Mm, possibly. Oops. Broke in there. I'm just showing the clasp. I think it's older, but I'll have to look at this first rhinestone. Looks like it might be whole necklace might be blowing apart. Earrings, earrings. This looks like a children's bracelet. This is just acrylic. It's not even gemstone. And then copper wire, but teeny, 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 tiny. I have relatively small wrists, but yeah, that's got to be five and three quarters, maybe six inches. Don't know who that's going to fit. Hmm. Don't know what the heck this is. think it used to have some sort of stone in the middle popped out and the chain can't even be rescued because the chain's actually attached to this round part the chain's all worn out anyhow 
I call that garbage. And earrings. Does anybody sell single earrings? Every so often I'll see single earring bundles listed on shopwiggle.com and on eBay. But do people actually buy that? Is that for crafting? I don't really get that because you can't wear them and the earrings don't have a ton of beads. What do people do with single earrings? This is nasty. I guess it's maybe memory wire necklace, but it's very, very, very lightweight plastic faux pearls and lightweight aluminum like metal. And it's just kind of showing a lot of wear. I would not even offer that for sale going into my expanding garbage pile. dirty bangle bracelet and say if that was sterling it might be okay but I just think it's worn out nastiness and this is gross it's very lightweight plastic pearls not even glass pearls and it's totally coming apart and a lot of these pearls the paint is peeling off so to me that's not even worth salvaging and I just wouldn't be comfortable offering that for sale more garbage this is plastic not metal don't know what it used to be attached to going into my garbage pile teeny tiny stretch bracelet black seed beads and some flower shaped acrylic beads the elastic is in horrible shape because it's acrylic. Um, yeah, I'm putting that in my garbage pile. I'm not happy. Not happy at all. Mm. It's like a chain bracelet that might have had some charms. There's some jump rings, like somebody took the charms off. So. Not sure what I'm supposed to do with that. And even the earrings I am finding are just mostly horrible looking, cheap, dirty plastic. Uh, don't even know if I want to find the matches. Uh, what's this? Oh. Did it used to be a button cover that's falling apart or is that a magnet? So... Yeah, it might be a magnet. Garbage pile. Hmm, this bracelet might be wearable. A uh, gunmetal chain, then some. Looks like it might be acrylic charms. Maybe glass. Black, clear gunmetal, and the dyed howlite. Trying to imitate turquoise. So, I might be able to do a turquoise bundle. I mean, not for very much money, because it's all plastic fantastic, but that's, um, if you look at my listings on eBay, most of my stuff I do um, themed lots. Like, I'll do an all pink bundle, like a barbiecore bundle. I'll, I'll do an all, like, uh, abalone shell um, a faux pearl bundle, maybe mermaid core bundle. Um, I'll do all like black rhinestones and other kind of dark and moody stuff like a goth glam bundle or gothic glamour or an all rhinestone bundle or an all silver tone bundle. So, you know, I'm going to try my best to try to get my money back from this bundle. Um, might have to add some of these pieces to other lots. I don't know. This is big old plastic or acrylic disco ball. I guess it has a hole in it, but it's plastic. It's not even glass. So I've got no use for it. This is Korea. Just a gold tone metallic chain and it looks like um, lightweight acrylic beads. I mean, that's cute. I can put that in a bundle. I've sold black and gold bundles before, so that might work. Um, this is garbage. I mean, 
I guess it's cute, but it's missing pieces. See, that's like two-way sticky tape. And I don't like this fabric stuff. I think it's very not sanitary. You can't really clean it. So into my expanding trash pile. Trash, trash, trash. I give this box two thumbs down. This might have been a cool bracelet at some point, but um, this all looks very worn. Oh, there's glass or acrylic. Um, stretchy bracelet, but it's starting to lose its stretchiness. So I think it's very old and vintage. I mean, I'll do a Google lens, but um, to me, this would be more for maybe in a craft bundle because I think the elastic's about to fall apart. These things are kind of interesting. Yeah, I have to Google lens it to see if that's anything. A million dollars. You just got all your money by back for this box. Woohoo! <laughs> <sighs> Trying to stay positive. Look at the positive. No, just this box whole bunch of negative. <laughs> Two thumbs down. Do not recommend. Woo! This one's actually in decent condition. This is glass. Glass beads and some rhinestone spacer on a memory wire and a amber color. That's nice. Yeah, I'm not seeing any matches for my earrings, but I don't really like these earrings, so I can't imagine keeping these earrings to sell in a single earring bundle. Except maybe that one that looks like real tiger's eye, but everything else is very plasticky, very worn out, very dirty looking, just not, not anything I'd want to offer to sell, sell to anyone. Mm. This is a sad necklace. This is the kind of thing, um, if it was in good shape, I would probably include it in like a mermaid core bundle because it's all these little shells, but many, many of these shells are broken. Um, I'll take a look at it before I decide what to do with it. I might be able to, because there's so many shells, I might just be able to get away with um, removing the broken shells and it's still, because it's double strand, it still might look Okay, um, yeah, I'll make that determination later. Oh, a lot of earrings stuck on that one. But none of them match anything. Oh my goodness, people are still doing this. It's a domino and somebody's on come on Miranda. <laughs> That's kind of funny and kitschy. I would keep that to see if I ever have enough to sell and like a little camp kitschy bundle um i don't think on its own that it could be worth that much it's just a plasticky domino on a, on a stainless ball ball chain thingy um, what's this this is in a plastic bag uh, oops i don't want to focus did i have it upside down like a candle, E C A C. Naki? Oh, maybe it's for a, I don't know, an organization or. I have no idea what that is. I'll have to look that one up. It's worth a million dollars. <laughs> oh my goodness, so many single earrings. Oh, they're all crap, 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 crap. Ooh, bunch of tangles. I mean, look at this earring. I guess it's like baseball theme, red, white, and blue. But I only have one. It's just like, it's not even leather. It's like you know, the stuff they do, upholstery for cheap furniture. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Need a twist tie? Close your bread? I mean, seriously, this is like a commemorative pendant for some organization. I have no clue. Um, Holy Cross Evangelica. 
Lutheran Church. And here comes my cat. Boo, boo, boo. What you doing? She's about to attack my jewelry. No, you can't go down. Put on there. Wow. Like, what am I going to end up with a pound of single earrings? That's really disappointing. You know, I've had other bundles that have tons of earrings, but um, it's like they put all the earrings in a bag by itself. So, A, they don't get all stuck and tangled and everything. And, B, they know that there's matches. So, at least you're getting some value with matching pairs of earrings. This is just, I mean, between the single earrings and the purely garbage pile i mean that's gonna be half my lot right there it's just totally i can't even offer it for sale little bracelet says dust this rain oh goodness do i have a match of an earring i might pass that out. let me see i mean they're kind of goofy earrings but i have a match very Plasticky, red, pearlized beads, and then these little silver, silver tone spirals to hypnotize you. Buy, buy my jewelry. Buy my crappy plastic fantastic jewelry. <laughs> there, you've been hypnotized. So that's a matching pair. First pair of matching earrings in this bundle. And I uh, don't have that much left. So the pain will be over so shortly. <laughs> Ooh, here's another smaller acrylic little plastic dangle that I have no use for. More unmatched earrings. Unmatched earrings. Unmatched earrings. Uh, and here's another one. Oh, you hear that? That's my cat. Hang on. I gotta have to take her out. Oh. I'm back now. Okay, I'm gonna have to edit that part out because I just stepped away from the camera and there's like dead space. Oh, everything's gonna be um thing. Flower thing. What is this? A bead? Well, what am I gonna do with that? <laughs> oh, and I might have had a match for earrings. This is very cheap. Lightweight, a plastic. It's ugly, so I'm not upset that the second one's broken. Going into my garbage pile. Unmatched earrings. Unmatched earrings. Tons and tons of unmatched earrings. So disappointing. Wah, wah, wah. Ooh, look, I found the magic potion. Is this filled with diamonds? Can I cash that in? I guess I could put that on a silver tone chain. <laughs> put that in a bundle. Hmm. Uh, here's another necklace I won't offer. It's bone and horn. And like I said, eBay um, flagged me for that one listing that had bone in the description. So to me, it's not worth taking the chance. Very plasticky, very like Mardi Oh, it does have a clasp. Come on. Yeah, it's falling apart. Hmm. It's going to garbage pile. See, an earring like that, I could, I get you could turn it into a pendant. Um, if I don't have the match, like I could take the top part off and then put a jump ring here and then that could be a pendant for a necklace put it on a gold tone chain or add it to a beaded chain but for the most part i just don't get what you would do with single earrings and here is a key ring broken i mean that's pure trash No, all, all that weight adds up. That's what I'm saying. All this trash and all these single earrings 
kind of getting a little hmm here now can I trade them in for a do-over <laughs> Broken toggle, piece of chain, nothing else. Single earrings, single earrings. Single earrings. Single earrings. This is just a nasty ear hook. No earring even attached to it. Let's see, single earrings. Is this supposed to be? Oh, it's another earring. Um, here is another pendant. It looks like the middle piece popped out. Like there used to be a heart shape, either stone or acrylic piece. So this is totally useless. Um, might be able to take the chain off and harvest that. I mean, broken bit. If I had the rest of this, maybe you could fix it. Well, no, you couldn't fix it. That's totally broken. But that's all I have is this little piece, so that's useless. That's plastic. It's not glass. Um, dirty, worn stack of bracelets. Don't even know if I would offer that for sale. Single earring, single earring, single earring. Um, there's a pin back that popped off with like glue and nothing attached to it. And it's bent out of shape. That's going into trash. Uh, what's that? A piece of undyed branch coral and two pieces of dyed coral. So that could potentially be liquid silver, like sterling. I'll take a better look at that later. But the the actual necklace, it's broke. The, the clasp is just all kinds of janked up, so I'm probably end up in trash. Everything else is all tangled. Um. Ugly hairpin, faux pearls, and like plasticky rhinestones. Every so often, I want to come across a hair a hair accessory bundle. Do you ever bid on those? I just I don't know. With hair accessory, Ugh, sounds like it could be all kinds of nasty. But don't know. And single earrings are all. Stuck. Oh, I think I might have another match for earrings, but they're all kinds of ooky, so I don't think I'll offer these for sale. Um, rhinestones, but the metal is all like not even dirty, it all just looks like it's all kind of corroded. So I don't think I would offer that for sale. Who wants nasty, skinky earrings? Not me. Here's another piece of unusefulness missing a ton of rhinestones, and I have no clue what it was. It like <laughs> is that jewelry? Uh, I don't know. Uh, that looks like more. Um, bone and horn and bone, so I'm not offering that for sale, like I said, after getting that one listing pulled down on eBay. Not worth getting my account banned. I'm just going to be over this. Uh, this, I don't know, is this more horn? This is those little, um, that's sea urchins or something. Uh, might be able to sell that. I don't know. Not really feeling it. Not feeling it. More 
trash. My trash. My trash pile. My single earring pile. Yeah. Yep. This pile is doo doo. Uh, oh, might have found another pair of matching earrings. These are actually glass, not acrylic. So if I can straighten that wire out, I could probably put those in a turquoise bundle. That look to be an okay shape. And I think I have enough turquoise colored pieces in this bundle, or in this box, that I can put together a tiny, teeny bundle, or I'll see if I've got any other turquoise colored pieces in reserve. I've got a whole closet full of bags in various stages, and once they get up to that 20 to 30 pieces per color or per theme, then I'll take the pictures and offer them for sale. But sometimes I only have a couple of pieces, and it takes me a little while to collect enough items to bundle it all up. Now, I have started Google, Google lensing more stuff because I'm finding that. In some of my bundles I've offered for sale, after the fact, it's like, ooh, I've had some pieces in there where individual pieces were probably $20, $30, and, you know, I'm selling the whole lot for like $40 or $50. It's like, hmm, yes, spend more time doing research. <laughs> um, so here's a couple of plain chains. Uh, one looks like silver tone, one looks like gold tone. I'll just set those aside. Um, every so often I'll get pendants without chains. In fact, I bid on a all pendant bundle. Um, all the ones that were signed, like Leah, Sophia, etc., I put those into a lot. Those are for, that's for sale at my eBay store. A couple of them I've used in um, beaded necklace projects. I, um, you know, like to do a little bit of beading years ago. I had my own bead store. Like, here's a pendant that came in that bundle. And then in one of my gemstone bundles, I had a necklace that was kind of falling apart and not that interesting. So I added some other beads to it. And turned it into this necklace. So, got that kind of stuff for sale on my eBay store too. I don't know if people are looking for handmade jewelry or not, but I'm doing it because it's fun. Okay, really getting close to. Uh, that's just um, kind of matte, milky white glass it's just this is going into crafts see it's just on fishing line i can use that in like a bracelet or necklace project and i really don't want this tangle i'm so close to being done with this bundle uh, this is a broken necklace yeah, very lightweight. I don't even think it's metal. I think it's plastic. It's probably going into trash pile. Rubber band going into trash. Um, this might have been an earring at some point. It's all falling apart. That's going into trash. Uh, here's an interesting necklace, multiple strands, gold tone, gold tone beads. Not sure what they're doing with the clasp here. It's got two the lobster claw clasps. Don't see any maker's mark. If I take the one clasp off, I might be able to put that in a bundle. Random piece of chain. It's not a necklace, not a bracelet, no clasp. Um, this looks like somebody made this. Like blue seed beads and those are glass beads. And this cool pendant. 
almost reminds me of um, Betsy Johnson, but I don't know. Something somebody had on a piece that fell apart. See, it's all kind of chipped up on the back, but it looks okay on the front. I don't know if I like that chain. I don't think that really matches, but I guess it's wearable. This little pendant, red acrylic, icy rhinestones, silver chain tassel, and it's all on a silver chain. Don't see any maker's mark, but that one seems to be in okay shape. Let's just say Santa Fe, Santa Fe High School. This is gold. Sometimes these are like low low gold like nine or ten carat but i don't see any markings on it it's a little enamel charm like santa fe high school i don't think it's real gold but i'll look at it later i mean what's that i mean little glass seed beads on a stretchy cord but I can't imagine this would fit anybody maybe it used to be a ring it can't be a bracelet that's going into the trash pile uh, another plain chain I'll keep out get the rest of these pieces out it was really just a few more pieces but there's a couple of really fine 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 chains in there and it's just catching up on everything It's totally garbage. It's totally like pieces are mis broken off. Rhinestones are missing. I mean, come on. You put that in a box? That's garbage. That's obviously garbage. There's nothing there that you can harvest to use for crafts. It's just junk. Ugh. Never again. I'm going to give these like mystery boxes one more chance. Sucker. Um, I'm guessing this is an anklet. It's way too big to be a bracelet. It's just little pieces of silver tone wire and I don't even know if that's glass or ceramic. But yeah, that's got to be an anklet. Oops. Something else to use. Uh, double strand. Double strand necklace and very dirty gold tone. And I think that's all just acrylic beads. I don't even think that's maybe summer glass, but I think it's mostly acrylic. Don't know, very cheap. Chirp, chirp, chirp. I'll have to go through this on my own. It's going to take too long. I've got another one of these um, kind of panther looking things. On a big cord. Got this Coisonet thing, but it's on cord. So I might take it off the cord and put it on one of those gold chains. I don't know what that is. Uh, yeah, it's all just stuck. Stuck on myself. So, 
except for two or three pairs of earrings. Oh, that's my trash pile. Um, none of these earrings match up, but they're all very dirty, worn out, plasticky looking. Uh, what's that? Uh, yeah. I'll look through, see if there's anything worth saving that could potentially become a pendant. Like that other one I was looking at. Um, but for the most part, not happy with this mixed bundle. This was from the blue box, Goodwill blue box that comes out on Friday night. If you sign up for their email notifications, you'll get an email or text message saying they've restocked their blue box jewelry bundles. Don't do it. <laughs> it was $44.99 plus shipping and tax came to $55.63. I don't see there's any way I'm going to get $55.63 out of this. And like I said, um, I'm trying to make a little bit of money here, especially since I've been laid off recently. Uh, yeah, very disappointed. This was coming from Blue Box. Gulfstream Goodwill Industries, Lake Worth, Florida. But their website is Blue Box. Um, yep. So, um, I've gotten blue boxes from the Miami Goodwill. Wasn't a fan. And I know American Thrift's not affiliated with them, but it's the same thing. America Thrift, I think, does their bundles come out Thursdays or Fridays? Same thing. You can sign up. I, that one box I got from American Thrift was just garbage, garbage, garbage. 100% threw it out. Nothing I could even say. I mean, I had those, you know, those dental floss picks. Those little individual dental floss picks. I must have had 40 of those individual dental floss picks in the America Thrift jewelry mystery lot. Not happy. So, um, yeah, please let me know in the comments if you've gotten good blue box mystery jewelry boxes. And if you remember what um, Goodwill store they came from. Um, my experience, these mystery bundles are not worth it now. I've gotten three from three different locations, 100% garbage. Oh, wah, wah, wah. But I have gotten um, some good bundles, you know, on the online auctions and going to local thrift stores. And I guess I'll have to source, you know, um, garage sales, flea markets, estate sales, where you can actually look at the jewelry live and in person. <laughs> You're also sa saving on shipping costs that way. But I'm finding it harder and harder, the local thrift stores, like even Salvation Army, um, my local Salvation Army has a little bit of jewelry, um, but it, it's very, very limited. Again, I think most of the um, bigger thrift stores are pulling the jewelry out from the stores and doing these online auctions. And then online auctions, you're paying for shipping and sometimes handling, and that can make these bundles cost prohibitive. And because you're not seeing them in person, even when there's pictures, you know, if you're bidding on like a 5, 10, 15, 20 pound box, pictures only show you so much. Um, so just buy be aware. But yeah, just let me know if you've done these blue box jewelry mystery boxes before and you found some good things. I would love to hear you found like diamond and gold and <laughs> sterling silver. <laughs> Anyhow, this is uh, Lynn Smythe from The Creative Cottage. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.